So I'm filming for YouTube hey. and I wanted to know what you had for lunch Leo. You're doing well and welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is roland so today we're back to normal programming uh <clears throat> i'm recreating my best friend yes my best friend's dish his name is derek so let me insert a phone call of me and him right here so that you can hear what he had for lunch hiya murume hey. sasa so i'm filming for youtube hey. and i wanted to know what you had for lunch leo hey. Hey. Okay, so basi. Eh, iko live okay, bye. <laughs> Yo, what friend? So as you guys have heard, he had gideri for lunch so my idea is his lunch is gonna be our dinner in the house so uh, let me show you the ingredients i'm gonna recreate it i'm gonna put a little twist to it because cha it's me and we're not doing boring all day as you have heard his food was <clears throat> not the best so let me show you the ingredients then you can get started it's gonna be really simple really easy and it's gonna be meaty i promise you so for the ingredients we're gonna be needing for this video we're gonna be needing some i'll start with the ads so this is parsley i've chopped off this is uh coriander i've chopped up uh, chopped off waki zungu i've chopped off the stems because i've used them somewhere else so this is next this is um green peppers garlic and ginger so we have a mint star which is gideri this is already pre-boiled it's already salted it's like if you're a kikuyu then you know this trick ya kurusha rusha inito kurogaro here yeah when you look at here, the gideri, it's good to go. And then next we have um this is two bananas, arrowroot, potatoes. Next we have our onions. This is one red onion and the dania stems from here. Or the coriander stems. Then lastly, we have some tomatoes and some aubergines. Now I haven't mentioned the spices at this point because you can use a diff, uh, any blend of spices sorry guys any blend of spices you would like but some of the things that are not going to miss are inclusive of some cumin seeds some black pepper i also like the taste of rosemary in my gizeri and lastly we're gonna be needing to improve the color some dark soy sauce so the others you can wing it or not dependent on how you like your food One more thing i forgot to mention you also need some coriander powder because coriander powder is the bomb so um yeah and some salt also salt is key everywhere so let's get started now but make sure these three this whoa ouch these four they are ever present that's black pepper rosemary cumin seeds and dark soy sauce so um yeah so let's get started Ta-da! 
so at this point guys uh while it was cooking i was watch, watching some joy candy no not joy candy but um what's her name this youtuber uh just a minute yes i was watching ifon candy so um, yeah that was a by the way at this point so what you usually do is you start with what takes longer to cook so out of these three things these three starches that i'm putting in the bananas here the arrow roots take longer to cook so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add my arrow roots first just let them simmer in that thick fish sauce I would highly advise not to salt your food at this stage. It may lead to over salting of food. Just let it cook, and then all, when you're almost, then you can salt your food. So I'm just gonna put that there, and then I'm gonna cover it, and I'm gonna give it some few minutes to cook, and then I'm gonna come back and check on it. The lights just went out, so you have to bear with me. The video must, the show must go on. So I'm gonna add some water just to help the other cook. The water. I'm half cup of water. I'm gonna put the heat on medium. If you have hot water, I would advise you add hot water. Don't mind my hands. I'm doing mandazis as I do this video, but now since the lights have decided to bow, I'll have to wait for the lights to come back. But um, yeah, guys, the lights finally came back. Ah, that was a shock for a minute. So, our arrows have been doing their thing. So next, I want to add the potatoes that we can cook together. Just gonna add that. Just gonna give it a quick, quick stir. You see? Yeah, so we're just gonna give this a quick stir. Sorry for the background noise. My mom is on the phone. And um, yeah, we're gonna close this and we're gonna give it time to cook. Go without a request or even a task. Don't let me never be alone again. Alone. Oh, guys, this is looking nice. Please ignore my hands, as we said. I like the fact that some of the arrow roots have died. This will make the not died, they may cook for directors. They've. What's the word? I don't know. If I remember it, I'll put it on the screen. But they make the soup really, really quick. So I'm gonna add my sakatash now or givevi. Like that. Oh, Anybody got some for that? Uh -uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Look at that. And because I want it to a bit a bit soupy, I'm gonna add some some kidogo water. Let me get this a quick stand. Now at this point is when you're supposed to salt your food. Yes? yes. I hope we are together. I'm just gonna put kidogo salt. This another star just to evenly distribute the salt. Then I'm gonna put this it's already on low heat. See how thick this is? Ah, child, this one is about to slow. With some avocado and some ketchup. Ah, child. Okay, I haven't forgotten about the bananas. This is going to be fried. So relaxing, I got you. So after those quick and easy steps, our food is finally done. And when I tell you, oh, just look, just look. When I tell you this food is tantalizing, <laughs> let me insert a pan right here of how beautiful it is. <laughs> channel in Tuto 
bullet taste. Let's just look at it. I've drizzled some mustard. Also, I wanted to do some ketchup because I forgot. Also, I'm really proud of this dish because Gideri has Gideri Osako Tashi from if you're from the States. I've seen some of my viewers are from the States. So, hey girl. So, this is Sakotash. So, as I mentioned, the bananas, I deep fried them. I just slit them in half and deep fried them in hot oil. I just realized you did see that. Yeah, that way. I'll leave a picture up here somewhere of how the dish looks like. So, um, yeah, let's taste. So, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, and then you know, if you're from Kenya, you know Gideri and Avocado, same WhatsApp group. I really like the fact that, just a minute, the Gideri is nice and thick. That way you don't feel like you're eating Gideri, you feel like you're eating mashed potatoes. That's the trick for you to love Gideri. Mm, now with some banana, like that. I never thought I'd cook Gideli that was this good. In all honesty, I didn't think so. Sweetie, that food is tantalizing. Period. So that is it, honeys, for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That subscribe part, I don't know. Is a chorus? I don't know. I don't know. But subscription is free. When you subscribe, one of the advantages is in case I post a new video, you'll not be left out in the dark. You will know I have posted a new video. So Amir, um, before I sign out completely, completely, here are a few pointers. One, when you're cooking your sakatash or gideri, please, please, please make sure you know what goes in first. Because it would be such a shame for you to put in the potatoes before you put in the arrow roots. Arrow roots take longer to cook than potatoes. So do the arrow roots first. Give them like five minutes to cook, then add your potatoes. That way, they'll even zote pamoja. And if you get a few of them that are muddled up, they'll help in thickening your stew. Second thing, if you have an issue with gas, I would highly, highly advise when you're making, when you're boiling your beans and your maize, you add either a carrot or a bird's eye chili. Bird's eye chili for my Kenyan people is the pili pili lea shilingi moja moja. The red ones, the green ones, those ones than the like that those are the kind of chilies i want you to add so um yeah those two things i wanted to put but you can also try out different types of beans there's yellow beans these ones i don't know i don't know the name of these beans but there's i know there's roscoco there's kidney beans there's yellow beans try out different types of beans the ones which work for you or the ones that the doctor has recommended for you so um yeah i guess i've rambled on enough until next time guys remember life is too short to eat boring food so bye guys our dessert is also ready we are having stuffed mandazis. In case you don't know what stuffed mandazis is, let me just show you an example. It's mandazis that have nyama inside. I told you this house. Ah.